Hey everyone, Exoplasmus here, and I have someone else. Hi guys, what's up? Bro McBroski here. Uh, check me out youtube.com slash bro McBroski. Uh, yeah, Broski. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Alright, so, um, we are doing a Terraria Let's Play. Um, I do not have my computer with me, actually, uh, so I am not going to participate in this one. But um, actually, Daniel is going to do some stuff, and uh, I'm not sure really what his plan is, but still, we can just mess around, you know, chill. So yeah, it's Daniel again. Hey, well we can both talk at the same time, because that's how the microphone works. I'm eating, I'm eating an apple. He's eating an apple. So, yeah, I guess, as you guys can see, if any of you are wondering, you're like, Hey, why aren't they... Blah, 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 I don't know why I just didn't finish my sentence. Okay, I'm gonna finish it. Like, as you can see, clearly, we are, uh, not starting from scratch. We kind of made our own little house here, and, uh, we explored a bit. But... It just seems to make it a lot easier that way because now, so you guys don't have to wait through just like, see, you'll start building a house and everything. But this is pretty much where we're gonna take off from, and you're gonna see us do everything after this. Yeah. The reason we decided to skip it was because when we um, initially started recording, we ended up pretty much recording an hour of us just building our house, which probably isn't the most interesting thing to watch. So, um, yeah, we got some material, but not much, so the rest after this is legit. Don't worry if you are worried. And chill if you're shit. <laughs> Ooh, I can make some gold stuff. Cool, yeah. Silvo bows. Um, I own. Is that a toilet? Why is there a toilet? Actually, toilets um, will act as a chair. So when you are uh, making uh, housing, if you just want to do it for the walls, you can just place a chair down. I did not know that. <laughs> you can place a toilet inside yeah. the chair. I did not know that. So, I, I recently found it out. So as you guys can see, we kind of have some separate chests here. I have designated the chest on the far right, our treasure chest, I guess. That's what you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> It has all our valuables in it, such as the silver, copper, iron, and gold bars, as well as any- Nope, not a silver axe. As well as anything else. And, uh, the middle- the middle one's going to be the weapons chest, which includes all weapons, throwable weapons, explosives, I have no idea why cobwebs are in there. Um, and then the last one is going to be the junk chest. Pretty much. Yeah. So Mike, what would you say your style of gameplay would be? Well, when I initially started playing Terraria, instead of, I mean, I initially started uh, going, finding caves and digging that way, but I noticed I really didn't like that. One, because of the fact that uh, I wasn't really upgrading my weapons that fast when I was doing it that way, and there were I was getting uh, killed a lot more. So, basically what I did was that I uh, picked a point to just dig down and I dig down very much. What about you, I, I like doing what you said at first, going finding some caves. But when I first played the game, I was pretty lucky and there was a cave almost right outside my own house. So I could just easily go down there and every single time I had a magic mirror with me. So it really was nowhere getting back up. And I used that cave, and I went all the way down to the underworld. Now, for any of you that are wondering, we are playing on a large map. So you're going to see us having a lot of supplies, and it's going to take us a lot longer to fully explore. Now, on this map, I did find a cave, and no, it's not this one right here. I found one way over there that I'm just going to run to as of right now, because it kind of takes a while. And it goes pretty deep down. I didn't finish exploring it because I would, wouldn't have a way to get back up until I got some mana. But luckily, I got some. Now I wanna, I wanna make sure. I, re I remember I used to play like a while ago, but I think they did originally give you some mana. But now with the new update, you have to find the ten stars yourself. I believe. Mike, would you like to evaluate that? Um. Well, I, I mean, I. I started playing after the update, um, and 
and I mean, pretty much all this is uh, the same for me. Um, what, uh, what you, what would you say is your favorite um, thing about Terraria? Um, I, I like how you can, um, get so many minerals and upgrade, like, everything to, like, multiple tiers. Like, I used to play when the maximum was, I believe, the, um... Molten? The Molten stuff. Now, the, now there's about four tiers past Molten, which I believe is the, uh, the three new minerals that they added and the yeah, last cobalt, tier. Cobalt, um, Adamant, or Adamantite, and, uh... Yeah, and then they also have the armor set that's past that, that you need all sets of armor to get. So I guess what we'll try and do is we'll try to get both of those armors for both of us. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. See, even in my uh, my small world, I, I haven't gotten everything. Because what I uh, found with the small worlds is that um, I finding minerals after... Once you got in the hard mode, after I beat the wall of flesh... Um, Finding a lot of minerals was getting really difficult, and um, I wasn't actually finding any, so I really, I wanted to go into a new world, and uh, uh, since I already had the poem hammer, I, uh, I thought, well, if I already have the poem hammer, <clears throat> then I can just uh, go in and um, kill a demon altar and get uh, stuff, but apparently that doesn't work, which I found out. What do you mean it doesn't work? What, uh, hit oh. demon altar, if you... St oh. We can edit it. Uh, yeah. What I mean is that if you already have the pwn hammer and you go into a different world, then what will end up happening is that um, if you try to destroy a demon altar, that will be awkward. And uh, you will just end up hurting yourself as if you were trying to. With a regular? Yeah, destroy a demon altar with a regular one. That is actually interesting. I did not know that. And see, past here, guys, is kind of where. I, I do have the cloud thing, but I didn't bother going past here because I felt that it would start going into some more drops, and I don't, I'm like too lazy <laughs> to go back up running all the way because it's just a pain in the butt, to be honest. Jellyfish. Oh, there's a jellyfish, so that means there's stuff underneath you, or yeah, over to the right. Yeah, it's just a water puddle. See? A giant water puddle. Correction. Yes. And I've noticed that the range that the... It's either that I'm playing on full screen, or it's the range that... Oh yeah, guys, just in case. If any of you... I'm sorry if any of you have small computer screens, because I'm playing on a full screen, and it's like a uh, probably 28-inch computer. So if any of you are playing without full screen, playing the video, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult to see stuff. And I apologize for that. It's just... I really prefer it if I play it on the large screen because it's a lot easier for me. But yeah, now back to what I was saying that I completely forgot. So, to topic. <laughs> Alright, so, <clears throat> my, uh, pretty much my favorite, um, my favorite thing about Terraria was pretty much, um, I love the music. Just, yeah, the music is pretty cool. It was, for me, it was the um, contrast between uh, Terraria and Minecraft. Ah, uh, The yes. comparing and contrasting. So, when I initially started playing Terraria, since I, I've been playing Minecraft for a while, um, this was a whole different thing. It, I mean, you would it's think a lot it, more difficult, in my it's opinion. A, it has its similarities and its differences. Uh, oh, geez, do I feel slow? <laughs> I like, um, yeah, you do. I, I oh, wait, I, I also believe I have a... I'm... I'm I, I basically stopped playing right as or right before they implemented the potions. So I haven't used these at all yet. So I'm kind of a newbie yet with the potions. And well, this one I read, it makes me a bit light for about five minutes. So I'm going to see this one. Except I'm kind of afraid if I'm going to run out of breath. And it's a dead end. How nice. Oh no, if you um, just uh, hit the, the sand over there. Huh? If you hit the sand over there. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh. oh. So. Yeah. yeah, so, um, back to what I was saying. The, um, the differences, the similarities and differences, uh, between Terraria and Minecraft, there, it's a great, uh, really great difference, I guess. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but, um, yeah, I enjoy how there's um, a lot more stuff to do. When you reach Diamond in Minecraft, that was pretty much it. You were kind of just stuck there. 
Um, just building whatever you want. Yeah, because you're pretty much invincible after that. Well, not necessarily, but... Like, you're the pretty, you're pretty damn good. Yeah. But, uh... You're set. <laughs> yeah. But, um, with Terraria... What was that? Um, and I also like... I mean, it does... In Minecraft, how your, um... Your tools do have a... Um, that does, uh... That is a pain in the ass in there. But, uh... With Terraria, it's um, it's good because you don't have that. Um, that look, Mr. Dirt. Worm face. Yeah, you don't have that. Um, whoa, dirt go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, okay, this is new to me.